what is up guys welcome back to the home slice i have before me the beloved death rope if you've been following my tests you know that this is a gnarly ship rope that's got rocks and sand and crud in it and i've just been testing what edges get through it really really coarse sharpened s30v almost got there dual grit sharpened 3v cpm 3v almost got there maximet with a hair whittling edge almost it got about halfway through and what i'm coming to find is that this rope it takes a combination it seems of a really really aggressive edge that separates fibers easily without a lot of pressure so an edge that, that has a little bit of texture to it seems to help um it also seems to help if your steel has a high level of toughness because as you go through you hit particles of dirt and crud and it needs to be able to not chip out when it hits those. But if that were the only thing, then I could have taken these Victorinox paring knives that I test with oftentimes and put a coarse edge on them and gotten through it and it won't. And I think that you need a pretty high level of carbon and carbide which to get through it. Which basically means that this rope tells you uh, whether or not you have a steel and an edge that is my favorite <laughs> because my absolute favorite cutting performance is high carbide, decently high toughness, really aggressive edges. That's like my bread and butter. That's what I love. So I'm really stoked about this actually. We've had some victories recently. Dual grit M4 got through it. Coarse sharpened M4 got through it. Coarse sharpened Maximet got through it. And so the burning question on everyone's mind, at least I imagine, because it's the burning question in my mind, is what about CPM MagnaCut? <laughs> I just want to give a shout out real quick to my viewer, Andrew, Andrew Van. Thank you so much, bro. This guy went to the ends of the earth to try to get one of these shipped to New Zealand and he traded another knife that he had, another valuable knife, to get this Magna Cut and sent it off to me. So thanks so much, bro. You are a bro. You're awesome. And um, I've got a 250 grit edge on this Magna Cut mule. I've thrown together a really haphazard paracord handle so it doesn't shred my hand, hopefully. And it's feeling really aggressive, though the best reading didn't come out quite as well as the M4 and the Maxima. I suspect due to it being of a more positive burr nature as a steel. If you don't know what that means, then check out the knife grinders um, video on deburring. I'll try to put a link up here. Anyway, will CPM Magna Cut with its balance of some carbide and decent carbon with a little bit of carbide volume, a really good amount of toughness, and a coarse edge, 250 grit on an easy lap diamond plate, make it through the death rope. Let's find out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me introduce you to Magnica. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, highest initial aggression. This was more aggressive than M4 on the coarse edge going into it, like by a good margin. And the, the best number was not as good, and I was a bit concerned about that. But holy cow, it sailed through like the first five fibers. And then it got like a little bit more difficult. I would say it was at the end, it was cutting a tiny bit better than M4. Much, much easier than Maximet. Maximet just made it through kind of by the skin of its teeth because the edge damage in the middle meant that the middle wasn't cutting. The middle's still cutting on Magna Cut. 
oh, it'll be really interesting to see if the best measurement right here in the main cutting zone is better or worse than CPM M4. Like I'm really keen to find this out, but guys, as I'm using this, like in my heart, it's like, then I saw her face, bum, 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 bum. now I'm a believer. <laughs> like, I have heard about this deal and I've dreamed about this deal because there's a whole story. Anyway, if you want to hear about how I wanted a steel like this to be developed, you can look at the video here if you haven't. But I'm a believer. <laughs> I really believe that Laren Thomas has created an excellent blend of carbide volume to toughness to stainlessness. Holy cow, guys, this is a stainless steel. The only other two steels to ever make it through this death rope are like carbon, carbon steel, like Maxima M4, they're gonna rust on you. This is crazy talk. Anyway, let's best test it. <laughs> All right, 640 grams on this bad boy. That's 34 grams more than the M4 ended with. Guys, that's like comparable to the M4. That's better numbers than Maximet had after this test. So very, very, very cool. The aggression on this is so high. I can't wait to dual grit sharpen this. This is gonna be a monster. <laughs> Well, make sure you, you tune back in. I'm going to try all of these that I've done course. I'm going to try the M4 and the Magnica. I've tried Maximet. The stone setup that I have right now for dual grit doesn't really work with Maximet, so I'm still working that out, and I'll produce some videos in the future trying to get that dialed in. But I'll do a video with a fresh dual grit edge on Magnica and CPM M4, and we'll see which one performs better. But for now, I just have to say I am uber, uber pleased. So cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care. Peace out.